Do you remember the Death by DIY Dyson DC25 from a couple of videos ago? Well, it's now undead. He has risen and has turned back into an okay working upright vacuum cleaner. Let me show you how it looks now, take you through some of the improvements. It's just stripping and washing the flipping thing has fixed. And then show you how it works now and what may still not be brilliant about it, but certainly good enough for now. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and Dyson chums. How are you today? Yes, bar, you know, the sandblasting that has occurred on some parts. I mean, the bin, I mean, I haven't done anything more than just rub it with Sif quite lightly and clean it. So, you know, it's not perfect. It is still very, very opaque, I guess. It's not see through anymore, but it'll do the job. But, you know, the biggest difference is in things like the hose, which now, I mean, you still need to do the Dyson DT25 type. In fact, we could put a little bit of this on to there. And that might help. Oh, yeah. There we go. All the grit is washed out. The hose is... Why do they twist like that? The hose went through the washing machine very well. It's, it's, it's disgusting. But isn't a health hazard anymore. And yes, all that was fixed just by washing. The random mattress tool that this thing comes with is now very clean as well. I've just washed that. Because it was there, I always do. And yeah, the whole thing is incredibly boring. The only fair thing on it is the flipping cyclone bit there and the usual red bits. You can, you can kind of change this incredibly easily. Right, let's have a look at the middle part. Again, some of the biggest improvements down here have been just by washing, obviously. All of this bit moves with the wand and now it all turns very nicely indeed. This is what moves the suction from the wand to the bottom of the machine. All of that is now grit free. I mean, again, just a wash has fixed it very nicely. If we recline it, find the filter opening tab, we shall see a brand new, used for 30 seconds to test, post motor filter fitted. Very nice indeed. As we know, the filters were pretty much going to be the death sentence of this thing if we hadn't have got to it again. And likewise, in the cyclone, we have ourselves a brand new filter and a brand new cyclone gasket in our wash cyclone. I mean, all that cost literally under the tenner. If you have a DC25 and you haven't done that in over a year, I would just do it. The cyclone gasket is okay if you don't use them for DIY. If you do, though, they go. Underneath is very heavily worn, and yeah, that is a slight problem. It's also broken in a couple of places, so it's all glued back together, but the brush well, she is a little bit noisy. We shall notice that very shortly, I am sure. So yeah, for the pocket money's worth of parts and a good strip and wash, this has now turned back into a Dyson DC25 that works really well. Which, subject to your opinion, on Dyson DC25s could be controversial or not. Oh, bless them. Right, let's plug it in and see how she runs. So, how well did this survive after its terrible ordeal? Well, let's take the hose off first and turn it on. Nothing wrong with that. Motor sounds okay, you know, it's not not the best sounding motor in the world, but even from the state that the post motor filter was in blimey, it sounds mid. Let's check the carpet's performance. Yeah, 
bar that little rattle, I mean, look, I'm already going to have to get the airline out and blow all that fine dust off that has just accumulated in there. Yeah, I, do, I don't, well, I don't like them, but I don't dislike a DC-25. They're okay, they're just of their time. And what I mean by that is this is the UP-22 Dyson light bulb. I'm currently using it for the month, it's March, as I feel with this. And these are basically the same machine. They're the same segment, same market, you know, overview, same size, same weight, this is basically, yeah, if there's a DC-40 in the middle, we would have a lineup, but we don't, and that's fine. And bless it, this thing physically works okay, I mean, if you love it, it'll go on forever, but you can feel its age, everything's just more, I mean, refined on these generations, a lot more streamlined, I mean, there are some hideous backward steps, I mean, look, I can roll this one forwards, on its wheel. Ugh, oh, no. I mean, if you go really far back, you can, but, you know, a normal angle, you know, not always progression, and, oh, this one's a lot more wobblier than this one, and, yeah, has already fallen down. But again, they'll both do the whole fill the bin up at a stupid angle thing. They'll both absolutely suicide themselves if you use them for DIY. And they are both utterly worthless, despite being probably 300-ish pounds, maybe 250, machines in their day. I mean, this one's, I'm going to charge for the refurb. This one, as we know, was free. Bless their little hearts, but I guess it's also... A bit of an improvement still from the likes of these. So, Les, what do you think? What do you prefer out of these two? I am firmly in the UP22 camp nowadays, I'm afraid, but oh, you still can't beat a nice DC25. This had a new brush roll in. It would be quite cool. And would obviously now last another 10 years. So I don't want to discount them completely. They are getting old. They're aging a little bit obviously this one didn't need a brush roll motor but many do but if you get a working one and you quite like it now is definitely the time to do it the time of filming this parts are cheap and plentiful for both of these and you know you can have fun with them but if you have the choice of both pick a up 22 but use neither for diy so there we are. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I and some other dangerous Dyson will see you soon. Bye bye.